Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Awesome AJ. We're here playing more Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. We're at the Challengers uh, thing in Romeoburg. Oh, on the back door. So, not too much fighting, more just a lot of talking. Upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't Not expect really. anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends, Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? This just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> what is what is that? Lava Another golem. golem. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so poking fire might not be the best idea. We've got to try something yeah. else. Yeah. Oh, I got it. turns lava into cobblestone. Yes, we've got to get them under it. All right, golems, time to get soaked. Now I... Mine in time. Congratulations, challenges. Stage one... Of six hundred <laughs> complete. Uh, what? Stage two. And begin. There's no way we're making it to stage six hundred. Three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, radar. Let's bust that machine. All right, here we go again. Right there, just slide, press the radar. You have to break the machine. I'll cover you. On it. Thing sneezes fire. No one is smiling. Now, now, I'm not a monster. There is a crafting table nearby. <laughs> this guy has a twisted way of playing with his friends. Maybe we can bring this. 
this one down with water, too. Radar and I will be there. Oh, fine! I just run all the way back. I don't Come get me, you ugly stack of dumb rocks. Come on. I don't really know how to right make gunpowder just sort of Gunpowder place like an X. Sand on all four sides. Come on, craft, craft, craft. Oh, like an X? Not good. We can't do this forever. Almost done over there. Uh, how about now? Oh. Oh Jesus Christ! To like this thing. He is that might a match hurt. himself. Fred? For Fred. Did Romeo do all this? Maybe he regretted it in the end. 
Or maybe something happened that made the friendship bad. It's so dumb sometimes, man. So strange to see Ocean. the flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bed rocking. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe fish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Uh, bookcase. Remember, I used to read all the time. Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Tell someone you broke it. Oh my god. Uh huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? N n nothing. It just reminds me of uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both She's know. just sad, she was home. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It, it's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. No, we didn't. You weren't our friend. We barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves, and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... I kind of thought you liked it that way. You've always had this I-don't-need-anybody thing going on. I know. I just thought I could convince myself, I guess. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Just because we have our own lives doesn't mean we aren't friends. We still care about each other. They'd be here if they cared. Whoa, Rose, man. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Bed. Not the blue bed. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Nope, that's not it. Oh, I get it. All right. He literally meant that the color of the beds were different. Place, place the red bed here. Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. You... <sighs> Blue for Fred. And... The only other one left. Purple for Zara. Oh, I know why he did that. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says, hashtag potato451. Potato? That's the weapon? 
What are... What, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. That's what it is? That's so dumb. Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato451. Maybe it's a, spe word a special potato? At the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. It's kind of like them. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them too. This wasn't easy for any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you, forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I do kind of feel like you'd get mad if I didn't want to adventure anymore. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to lose you. And that doesn't make it okay. I, I know that. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how I need to figure things out for myself. And I think, I think that's out there, not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I more than anyone else. You've been oh my God! And I, I don't want to. I guess I'll go with me. this. I'll be right there with you, Petra. You think your place is out there, and so is mine. Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Call the others. We're getting out of here. Oh, I forgot about Jack. Place that down. No, oh, don't. Oh my God. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away. There are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty admonish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. <sighs> no one, no one gets left behind, ever. I mean, that's not exactly true. You did leave that villager in my cell when we left the prison. But we we need it. Well, from now on, then. No, Would be just... a downfall waiting on others. Better be careful about that. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end. Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? 
I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the yeah, only way. I agree. Yeah, just kill him. No argument? Huh. I wouldn't have thought you'd agree. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us. Cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really mm. over. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Zara. Oh, I, I saw that bottom like option, you man. Don't. But you might soon if we don't end this. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Well, at least I have an extra bed. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? All my hearts. No, I will not run anymore. You just do your worst. It's like getting a paper cut. You let Jesse go. Don't you have any decency? It is not cool to go around smashing everything up, making a mess, and grabbing people! Ah! Eat this! Ha! Huh. Looks like all my training for the marsh hoppers of the Harline Swamps totally paid off. Jack! <laughs> little fall will get the better of the velvet tornado please for Fred's keep for the future fight yeah. really someone's got to catch me up here they're on our side they helped us back in Fred's keep up the more the merrier some people have got to Time die to let my sword get a taste of monster hide it's hungry yeah! We have to repair the building, otherwise that Enderman is never going to leave us alone.
us, but hopefully it'll be close to home. Alright. Everyone, we are leaving! Yeah, sorry, Jesse. Can't return the favor this time. She left us! Oh boy. Radar! We're winning, for now. But they're not gonna be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. Just give up. Run. It's after me. Stomp from the spider. More bad news. I think it likes me. But that means I can be a distraction. Uh, yeah, if you want to be stuck down here. I know! But if I do that, it'll let everyone get through the portal safe and sound! Everyone just ran into the portal. Brilliant. Thanks, Jesse. No way! That is the worst plan! The worst! No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around! They get left behind! The Enderman is after me! I can buy you time! You're our friend, Ray. I thought there was more than just like seven here. people. I thought it was more like twenty. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. Go Save for friends, people. Uh, there's no way they'll Come kill a radar. <laughs> Left the thing? The amulet thing? What the? Oh, you're back at the, uh. The. Order of the Stone Temple. That's it. No more mystery portals. Ever. I'm with the llama. Is everyone all right? It's the old order's temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood. This is amazing. Spot on impression. Yeah, this place would have blown his mind. Will, when he sees it. Jesse, we are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Is that? Oh god. I see some sort of glass in the distance. Okay. Somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? Beacon Town. Oh, Beacon Town's ruined. Below the bedrock. Avengers deal. Yeah, I mean, we only talked to them one time, so... No, yeah. You could... Um, well, obviously, yeah. Thought my adventures were over. I was content to let life pass me by. That is, until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye.
They said, Jack, do you think you can give me a hand? Mine is trapped in a club. Luke. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? Well, that was interesting, but, uh, yeah, so that's the end of episode four. Next episode is going to be episode five, the last episode. I, I'm i not even going to lie, I forgot that guy existed. Like, I know who he is, and he was a main character in season, uh, one, but he's just been writing a book now. But, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.